<laughs> well, now as a former COMELEC commissioner, I'm sure you get to see the different types of controversies that have hounded and continue to hound the COMELEC. Uh, just this last August, there was an article on some House of Representatives saying that if the COMELEC continues to be hounded by controversies, that the Philippines might go back to manual elections. Do you ever see that happening? Uh, <laughs> well, <clears throat> in my case, I've been in favor of a hybrid election system. Um, I have always maintained that uh, the precinct counting should be manual so that the people could see how their votes were counted. Uh, what, today, what we have is that after you fill up your ballot, you feed it to that machine, and then you don't see, you don't get to see the counting. At seven o'clock in the evening, they just announce the, the votes <coughs> garnered by each of the candidates. And uh, what I have always been advo advocating for is that the precinct counting should be manual, transmission should be electronic, and uh, canvassing should be automated. So that will still be very fast, uh, because the counting at the precinct level will only take a day anyway, at most. It can be as short as five or eight hours. And you, you are not worried that there would be a lot of cheating because of the manual counting? Um, whatever cheating might happen would be retail. But you know, when it's automated like it is today, it can be wholesale cheating. The software could have been rigged, uh, as maybe in the last elections that could have happened. Uh, you remember that uh, in NCR and Cavite, I think, they were passing through only one IP address. How can that happen when each precinct should have a separate IP address and each precinct should submit their results separate from the others? How come there was only one IP address? 